Today's episode of Can It Game is the AMD Radeon HD 7750. This card was the second lowest card in the 700 series, if you exclude the OEM models. It was released way back in 2012. It's a DirectX 11 card, but it does support DirectX 12 at a feature level of 11, meaning that it won't support all the really cool new stuff in 12. It's also exclusively powered by PCIe. All features that made it a great budget card for people that could only swing a hundred bucks a couple years back. So how well does it perform? Better than you'd think. It is a slight bit more powerful than the 9600 GT from a previous video, so it can play all of the games that that card could play and have better performance in them as well. So if all you want to know is if this card can game, well the answer is yes. But can it play more demanding games than Dishonored? Now only two games that I own are particularly taxing. Assassin's Creed Syndicate and Rise of the Tomb Raider, which coincidentally happen to be the two games that I want to focus on in this video. The 7750 is technically speaking not up to the minimum specifications of either game, but should that stop us from trying to play them on it? No, is the answer. Let's take a brief look at the games. Okay, so here we are in Rise of the Tomb Raider. Now, this is low. This is the graphical low preset. We are in the Soviet installation section of the game. Now, I have beat the game. So, we are in... This is technically after the game. But you come to this section pretty early in the game. Having played the entire game, I wouldn't say that this is probably the worst section in the game, but it is also not a great section. But you know what? The one thing that I will say about this game more than anything else is that this is low and it looks really good. No, it's not great. Don't get me wrong. No, I missed. Whoops. Okay. It's definitely equivalent to the medium or even high settings from the 2013 Tomb Raider, which I mean, that's what you want to see. You want to see them increase graphical performance, especially after a three year gap. There are sections that get up to 50 frames per second, and then there are sections that'll drop to 15 for, you know, a second at a time for each of those. So, you know, sure, it sometimes can get up to 60, but, or 50, not 60, rather. But, you know, it only, it only stays there for a, a frame or two before it drops back down. So that was a quick look at Rise of the Tomb Raider. Okay, so here we are in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Okay, so I'm supposed to infiltrate a lab and I've just kind of gotten into the secret area here. From what I've seen so far, the game has run fairly smooth. I am playing on the low settings. A lot of people will say that this game will probably not run well on this card, mostly because it's, you know, not... Uh, Gonna walk right by these guys because I don't want. Oh, good, they saw me. Fantastic. Here, I'm just gonna. Nope, okay, you're not someone I need to fight. Oh, good, okay, now we're gonna fight. So, from what I can tell so far, again, low settings. And again, I have to say, this game looks really, really good for low settings. I'm not gonna hurt you. Throw some throwing knives at him. And I'm gonna fight this guy. <laughs> oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. That's. There we go. Ha ha, I assassinated him. So, this has been a quick look at Assassin's Creed Syndicate. So there you have it. It can play both games. It doesn't play them particularly well, but they are playable. Syndicate in particular can get a bit low in London, and both games do border the dreaded realm of unplayable, but do spend most of their time around 30 frames per second. Of course, it wouldn't be a Canon game video without a quick trip into unplayable, would it? I think the greatest limiting factor to playing AAA titles on this card however, is having only one gigabyte of RAM. If it had two gigs of GDDR5 RAM, I would be better off. My final verdict, it's a bit of an underdog, sure, but it'll play most games you throw at it, even if it does struggle under more demanding titles. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.